Hi, hi. Deanna here, back in my TNT Nitro Fitness Gym, and I wanted to discuss handstands and the work involved and the fact that age is not the biggest factor in this workout game. So I began stretching and doing handstands very intensely. Actually, I didn't do much stretching and no handstands <laughs> before the age of 39. So I began pole at around 35, 36 years old, had no flexibility, none, zilch, nada, and started to get into the higher tricks and realized I wasn't gonna be able to do those tricks in any way that was gonna look pretty if I did not get my flexibility. So I began stretching then, and then at 39, I started doing handstands. Now, I want the press to handstand so bad. So right now, the last few weeks, I've been like, yup, let's get back at this. Let's get this press to handstand. So there's my mat working on it, trying to watch other Instagram people. So I'm following them to learn the tips and tricks in order to get that press to handstand. I am also realizing that flexibility is so huge. Flexibility is key for handstands to be able to get that, your hands planted on the floor, your legs close to your hands, and then press up. Yeah, that takes some flexibility. So pole is huge flexibility and handstands are huge flexibility. Bodybuilding, not so much. <laughs> this is another reason why I do not want to give up my aerial because arts of this it forces me to work on my flexibility and i don't want to lose that as i'm getting older as i'm getting close to that 45 number which is in oh shit <laughs> like seven or eight days ah! so yeah working on these handstands determined to get them knowing that yeah this is going to take me getting more flexible i'm willing i'm able let's do this and Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>